I'm here with Tony and Sean from Jonas Fitness. And Tony, tell me a little bit about your company. Sure. So uh, Jonas Fitness has been around since the early 1980s, actually started as check free evolved and really become one of the first companies to realize that payments and fitness management software need to be integrated together. In the early 2010s, we were acquired by Jonas Software and that's where we rebranded as JFI. Uh, from then, we've really taken advantage of that payments background and brought that in our focus for our clients. What brought you back to URSA this year? Well, first of all, it's great to be back and it's great to re-engage our relationships with our existing clients. It's been terrific to listen to them learn about how their business plans may have changed since the pandemic, how they've recovered, and then how our technology roadmap can help them achieve those goals that they've set for themselves. Uh, with new perspectives, it's great to meet new people, learn new uh, faces and names, and learn about what their business plans are, understanding what they're doing now, and how maybe our software compete and empower me and our payment processing services can help improve what they're currently doing right now. So what products and services are you showcasing here at URSA today? Well, we're excited about a couple of things. Uh, first of all, we are excited the near completion of our PCI certified P2PE encryption. And a lot of people, you know, they don't understand what does that mean. And I just say, imagine the minute that a member takes their credit card and inserts it into the machine, that data being encrypted and, and safe for the lifetime of the storage throughout uh, their membership. The importance of that is that nobody else in the industry offers that right now. And we're the first ones to come up with that complete solution. Uh, the second is Jonas is known for our payment processing, but not many people are fully aware of our member billing services program. And the member billing services program is where we're able to help them communicate with their members and collect on any kind of, of payments that may be missing or have, have slipped through. Uh, the importance of that is we've seen record numbers over the past year in their improvements, and it starts off with a personalized interview with the client. And what we're doing is we're finding out from our clients, what are their business operations, what are their practices, what solutions are they looking to provide to their members, and then we're combining that with our industry knowledge and techniques to help communicate with a member and give them a greater return on investment. With that said, like, are a lot of your clients noticing, like, a lot of payments were slipping without your technology and everything? Absolutely. And what's happening now when they're getting back into members, getting back into the club and attending, they want to make sure that they're staying current with that type of process. Because many of them maybe have lost uh, people that used to work for them after the pandemic and they need a better solution. And so now they can go back and they can either rehire and retrain people or they can step in interview with us and we can step up and, and provide the immediate solution for them. What other trends are, are you seeing that are happening this year? You know, I'm finding the most important thing for our customers is the customized solution for them. Is While we have so many commonalities in our industry, really we run our businesses in such a different way from customer to customer. And what that's really brought us to say is, you know what? We offer a great solution, but really, we should be the app store on the iPhone. We should find and look for those great partners that meet those needs of our clients specifically. So really, our focus is making those integrations go really well for our customers, so that way, it's whether it's us or our integration partners, can work together and provide them the solution that they're looking for. That partnership is key. Now, will you be back at Ursa next year? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> we would, we're really looking forward to getting back to San Diego and getting into March, and we're really excited about that. We wouldn't miss it for the world at this point. Thank you so much, Sean, Tony. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks. Mm -hmm.